somehow the last test I was taken at the hospital but they said it was all right and the diabetes the, by, the diabetes was manageable it was all right so somehow around the 20th of November uh, as I was at work I was doing a shift which was 12 o'clock in the afternoon to 12 midnight uh, on the man, Monday, uh, when I, I when I I finished the shift, as I was driving home, I just I came as I came out from the warehouse, I felt very very cold, and I I just drove home. After reaching home, I had my supper. Thereafter, I went to bed. And uh, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep well. It was very hard, difficult for me to sleep. And uh, but the following morning, early in the morning, I was feeling much better. And I went to work again uh, around twelve. And so, uh, so I did the same on Wednesday. But I was feeling the same the same pain and stress. But when I, I, I came back on Wednesday night, I couldn't sleep, I could not, I could hardly not sleep. And my wife, for the past, for the other past two days, Monday and Tuesday, I had resisted uh, he, he calling the ambulance. But on the on that day, uh, they they just called the ambulance, and the ambulance came, and uh, uh, they did their uh, their few checks here at home, and they advised us that we should go and see our GP, uh, my GP, early in the morning. And which we did, and the GP referred me to uh, uh, to the military kids hospital so that I could have my X X X-ray done, and X-ray was taken, and I came back home, but I had difficulty in, uh, in breathing. It was very difficult almost impossible uh, my breathing and somebody 
a doctor, our relative, uh, phoned back that other doctor and said this person has to be admitted. Uh, he, but he's, he's, he's not all right. And then I was admitted to the hospital. Now the problem, I see my 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 kidneys had had failed completely. That's what they discovered at the hospital, that they were no longer functional at that time. And they said, oh, you should be, the following day I was just put on a dialysis. Or oh, that night, I'm not very sure, I was put on a dialysis. Uh, they said they didn't know the reason. Up to now, I haven't not know. They haven't told me, but I'm going to have them, uh, a meeting with them on the with a certain specialist on the fourth of February. And they said they they won't. They do. They didn't. They didn't have an explanation how suddenly the, uh, the kidneys failed. Yet they were. Tests were being done usually, usually every six months, and they were all right. They were almost all right. The kidneys. Uh, so they said I should be put on a, a dialysis, and I was put on a dialysis, hoping that uh, with the help of the dialysis. Perhaps they can kickstart the kidneys. Meanwhile, my pastor had gone to to Jeffersonville, and he he had asked us if we had any any prayer request that he could take to to Brother Joseph. It was the same. It was the same weekend I was admitted when we went. He was about three days there, the same week. So there he took also the, my prayer, my prayer to, my prayer request to Brother Joseph. And in addition, he told him the phone call was done immediately uh, to the pastor while he was in Brother Joseph's office. And and the uh, I'm told the son-in-law, Brother Joseph, um, but did the message, a text message to uh, to Brother Joseph, who was who was already praying, and the prayer was also done for me at the same time. And I'm told he came out, Brother Joseph, and he, he told. Him, uh, the pastor, my pastor, that he was going to come out, meaning myself, I was going to come out of that intensive care. That's what I'm told he, he said. But meanwhile, while I was in the intensive care, lots of brothers and sisters, they came, they also prayed, prayed for me. And my family, they also went on a three-day fast. Uh, that it was uh, a, 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 combi a joint effort. And the people somehow, they showed interest in, uh, in my welfare. Um, then, because they had told me the that once they, it kicks that they will monitor it to see whether I was uh, picking up. So after three days with the dialysis, with the help of the dialysis, they stopped the dialysis. They, they took me out of the dialysis machine and let my own kidneys run. And my kidneys, uh, my, become functional. Uh, according to what they were about the blood test they were taking and uh, other things they were taking from me they 
they, as it is, they start somehow, as it's more like a process, as healing is a process, as usual. Uh, it builds up things which were expected to, to come down, are still coming down up to now because every week, over every week, I, they take my blood test. They are coming down. Things that are supposed to go up are still going up, uh, which means the healing took place. And I'm, I am all, I am all right at the moment. Uh, I would say it's a testimony that even at the hospital they were. Uh, really amazed by the uh, by the recovery, the kidneys uh, had uh, had done. So I I praise God. I know through also myself as it is. I I I didn't. I was so much in pain till that. I didn't actually know what happened uh, in a way, in a, uh, in a way, because I was dizzy and I couldn't even breathe, and they had to, 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 to induce. I was put on an anesthetic, and all these other things were done, while I wasn't, I wasn't aware, and. Uh, Suddenly, I see myself with with uh, without that without that machine, and uh, with the kidneys uh, functional. I thank God for that. Uh, fortunately, I would also uh, through I had the knowledge. Well, uh, through this uh, through uh, our prophet William Marion Branham about healing that you have to accept it, you have to testify about it, and that it, healing is a process. Uh, nobody heals besides God, because there is a creation, it's creation, it's a creation even of cells. Uh, that's, that's what happened to me, and I'm recovering. And I know within a few days I will be 100% all right. Uh, I, I thank everybody who prayed for me, including Brother Joseph Branham. And also, I would say it wasn't coincidental. It was just uh, the way uh, God made it. That, that the same week, my pastor would go to to. To, uh, to 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 United States, and uh, I also thank all the people who visited me. Uh, I also and my family, and I thank God. Wow.